Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode in my 15 minute build series. And in this episode, we are going to be building another modern house. This one I like a lot more than I like the old one. And you may also know there's something different. We are using shaders. Yay! Finally, shaders are compatible with Optifine, which means I can run them without completely and totally wrecking my frame rate. Yay! So we are going to try out an episode running shaders because I really think that shaders make these vanilla textures and builds look so much better. Oh man, this is a beautiful thing right now simply because of shaders. But let's talk about the modern house a little bit. It is two stories. There is a little porch area over here. We've got a little garage. You come inside. I'm not doing any interior decorating due to the size of the build. So I will leave you to do that for yourself. You could also swap out these lights if you'd like. This is the world's smallest hallway that simply leads out to the deck. But all in all, I think it's a really cool build and I hope you get some ideas and some inspiration from it because that is the whole point of this series. But I think I have done enough talking. Let's go ahead and get to building. We are going to put 15 minutes on the clock starting right now. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and put down some andesite. We are going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this will be eight. And then we are going to count one, two, three, four. Leave a space. One, two, three, four. And then bring this back like so. Now the garage is going to come out here. We'll leave a space of four and put that there. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four. Leave a space and like that. And then we'll just bring this all the way over to this side. So this is the shape that you should have right now. Now, what we're going to do next is we are going to take some dark oak planks. We're going to go ahead and fill this in like so. And we'll go right here, bring it up to a total of four high and fill it in like that. Then we're going to take some quartz blocks and we will bring them across and up. So this will go up another three and then up over the door. And then we're going to do the same thing right here. Now, as you can see, most of the front of the house is glass. So right here, we're gonna take some cyan stained clay and bring it up four high like that. Right here, we're going to put a quartz stair. And then in the corners over here, we're going to bring this up as well. So four high. We'll bring it up one more. And then we're going to bring this all the way across until it meets up with this corner right here. Then we will fill in this bottom part and then we'll fill in the middle with quartz blocks too. So these are going to be big, huge windows once it's all said and done. Right here, we're just gonna bring a layer of quartz across because that is going to be the window. Now it gets a little tricky. So on this corner, we're going to go up one, two, three. And on this corner right here, we are going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks right to me. Okay. Now, uh, let's go ahead and put this door. There's going to be a birchwood plank right here, but we're not too worried about that right now. What we're going to do is we are going to take our cyan stained clay. We will bring this up six and we will bring this one up four. So one, two, three, four, just like that. Now we need some dark oak slabs and those are going to go up here and we're basically just going to make 
a little thingy like this that's going to come down at an angle and fill that bit in. Now what we can do is over here on this wall, actually we'll worry about that later, we'll worry about that later. Let's go ahead and get some of these windows in here. Uh, oh, just kidding, my windows are over here. Uh, light gray, there we go. So this, these windows are basically all going to be just this light gray. We will top some of these as needed with the dark oak blocks. If it is not quite tall enough to fill the texture on its own. So like here and like so, we'll do that. We'll put a dark oak slab there. And then these windows are going to be very much the same with this gray stained glass. So we can break that. And there you have a good chunk of the front of the house done. Now, over here, we are going to do kind of the same thing. We're going to go one, two, three, and one, two, three. And then right here, we're going to end up bringing this all the way across like that. Now, right here, filling, e no, not andesite, we're going to fill these gaps in with the gray stained glass, just like this, and we can go ahead and do this one right away as well, like so. And then we'll take this dark oak slab and bring it out like that. Right here, we are going to add one dark oak slab to the top edge just for the roof to give ourselves a little bit of dimension. Now, in the back, first and foremost, we are going to lay down an entire row of quartz all along this bit. Okay? Now, here we're going to count one, two, three, and we're also going to bring this all the way around, like you see right there. So, see how that comes all the way to here? And then we'll curve it around one, two, uh, I'm sorry, one, two, three, and we'll bring this row all the way around like that. We can connect the corner piece Two. Now, right here, we are going to take our cyan stained clay and we're going to fill in a space. La oh, I did that wrong. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. So we go one, two, three, four, and then right here we have another batch of cyan. In the back, we will fill all of this window in with the gray stained glass. And then over on top, we're going to have a very similar pattern. The only difference is the cyan blocks are going to come in one from where these ones are. So we'll bring them up just like so. And then we can go ahead and do the ceiling in here, which is dark oak. Oh, that one was a mistake. And we'll just fill this whole thing in. As you see here. And bring it across until it meets up with the rest of the roof. And we'll do the same right here. So we've got our roof in. And now we just need to fill in our glass windows. So we'll take the gray window panes once again. We will fill these in. If it doesn't connect, we will put a dark oak slab in to make sure that the space is filled. 
So it will look like that once that part is done. Then right here, and this actually is another mistake, isn't it? Yes, it is. I knew I did something wrong. This actually is also quartz right there. There we go. That's much better. And then this is going to come up all the way to right there. And the light gray stained glass will connect in this whole area right here like so. So this is that part of the house. This is what it looks like. Now we need to work on this bit. So first and foremost, we need to work on the deck right here. And what we're going to do is we are going to bring this around like so, or no, we won't. I'm trying to remember how I did this. I probably should have practiced, but that's okay. We're going to take some birch planks right here, and we'll fill in this area just like this. And then in the back, we are going to take more quartz. We will fill in this little bit and this little bit. In fact, we will actually just go ahead and fill in that whole wall and then we'll count in two and knock out a space like that. Cyan stained clay and window panes, right? Just like that. And then count up one block, knock this out, cyan stained clay, window panes, just like so. Now, right here, we are going to build this up and over like this and connect it right here. So it will look like this. And we're going to have one, two, three, and then up and kind of over like this. So one, two, three, and then up and like so. So this is kind of the shape that we should end up with. Then right here, we're going to build this around. We're going to knock out that window right there. We're going to leave room for a door right here. And I think that is pretty much the gist of it. Now, dark oak roof, like so. Slabs coming over like so. Oh. We'll do this and that one will go there and that one will go here and then we'll just fill these extra ones in with quartz just like you see right here. Now this will come out, this will come and be covered. And we'll basically just fill in this whole wall with quartz as well. And we might as well do this one too. I think I am... I might run out of time doing this one actually because there's still a lot left to do. And I've only got two minutes left. So this might be one of the ones that we go a little bit over 15 minutes. But... That would not be the end of the world. So right here, there's an inverted stair. We're going to add some dimension to the garage over here by doing something like, I want to say it's right here. Oh no, I'm breaking the garage. I'm breaking the garage. That's not what I want to do. This is gray stained glass by the way right here stairs and inverted stairs 
And does this go out four? If this goes out four, I will be very sad. No, no, it doesn't. Okay. And then right here, there's another one of these window thingies like that. And right here. So, something along those lines. Once that's done, then we'll come into the decorations block. We will go to dark oak fences, and we will fill in dark oak fences. We will come into dark oak doors, and we will put a door right here. We will come into... Oh, I need this, actually. We'll make a little garage door right here. And wall this off. We will put... Uh, let's break that, and we'll put... I need... Don't need that anymore. Where is my clay? Clay, 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 clay. Where are you? Light gray wool. I can't find the block I'm looking for. Oh, there it is. And we're going to fill in the garage with clay. Because it looks like concrete. Just like so. And then right here, we're going to fill in this floor with birch. It seems to be raining, so let's get rid of that. And actually, while we're at it, times it zero. Might as well make it day. And then we'll fill in the floor with birch as well. Just like you see here. I think I put a little bit too much detail into this one for my own good, but that's all right. Right here, this is all going to be birch. Up at this level. And we'll get rid of some of these. There we go. This gets filled in with quartz like so. We actually put a birch... Stair right there. And then right here, we're going to take this out. And if you come over to the other house, you can see how the staircase goes. It starts right here and just goes up at a straight angle. So, oh man, this might be a 20-minute build. We will see. We will see. It'll be close. There's so much that we still have to do. Modern houses. They'll get you. Alright, so there we go. That will go there. Uh, we'll also take out that one just so there's a little bit of extra headroom. We'll fill that in like so. Then we're going to come in here. We can get rid of the polished andesite. We don't need that anymore. We'll grab torches. We don't need the clay anymore. We do need birchwood fences. Lining yourself up with the door, because that's the middle. You're going to go down two with fences. And we're just going to make a little chandelier just right here. Help light this place up a little bit. Just like you see there. We can get rid of the torches now. I do need a dark oak door, which will go right there. And that's all looking moderately good, but it is not done yet. This now needs to get carved out. At least, mostly. And filled in instead right here, because I just noticed I did that wrong. There we go. These will be light gray stained glass, those holes. Let's take a look. What else did we do? We had a nice big picture window right here. So we'll fill that in. 
right here. We had upside down stairs for a little bit of extra detail. And we did the same right here as well. Ooh, wait a minute. That's supposed to be a quartz block. You know what? I think I brought my stair over. Yep. That's okay. We'll just do this. We're we're gonna we're gonna cheat a little bit. But that's okay. So this is not finished entirely, but we are pretty much out of time. So the last thing that we're going to do to this house is I'm going to grab myself some dark oak stairs and we're basically just going to take them around like that, bring that over, and then we're going to bring them just all along the perimeter of the house right here because I think it really makes the house look better. And then right here, we'll bring it over like that. And right here, we will do the same thing like so. So it will look something like this when you're all done. We'll take that one out. And that is the house, guys. So there you have it. If And I am going to call this one done at over 20 minutes. 20 minutes and 16 seconds is what I've got took us a little longer than I had anticipated, but you know what? That's okay. Sometimes, sometimes when you're doing a lot of detail work like this, that will happen, and there's not a whole lot you can do about it. But I do hope that you enjoyed this video and that you got something out of it. I hope maybe you got some inspiration or something, because that is what I'm aiming to do. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, Please leave a rating, say you liked it, leave me a comment below. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check those out too. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. My, my whole UHC life, which is very short, I've only ever won one UHC. Why didn't you tell me this before I invited you to join my team? Uh, cause I felt like it would have hindered my chances. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, cause it would've. <laughs> it definitely would've.